the terraphosid fauna is incredible here. Welcome to another field trip video of our Peru tarantula expedition. Now get into the intro and have a look at these amazing tarantulas we found. So you might remember the Anticuna Tiena femur footage just earlier in this video. So after a long discussion yesterday night and checking the videos and pictures on the computer, we thought that it's potentially not the very same species uh, according to the first description because the altitude was not right. Um, it lacked around 800 meters in altitude and the picture shown in the first description of course had a completely different uh, flora up there a completely different habitat and also the specimen just uh, did not look right it was way too dark it was way too blackish blackish bluish and the all the lighter parts were missing completely so we decided that in this early morning we drive all the way up to 4,400 meters above sea level, more or less, and take the hike to the actual type site and check if the specimens are indeed the same. And um, long story short, it was not the same. Um, we have now turned our very first rock here, and uh, if you if you check. Uh, the specimens, they just do not look uh, the same. So I'll show you one of the specimen. So the conclusion will be that the species we found yesterday is actually a potential new species very closely related to this Anticuna Cianeo femur. And uh, this is the very first specimen we found uh, under the very first rock we actually turned and there are many more rocks we can turn here. So hopefully we'll find a bigger specimen as well. Nevertheless, um, again, more or less the same words. Truly blessed to be part of that huge project and, part to, be, and to be part of uh, describing this new species of Anticuna here in the highlands of Peru. Um, the terraphosid fauna is incredible here and you'll find so many more uh, species present in this uh, actual area. So we'll continue searching, take some pictures and data and then release them back under the rock here in this habitat. In the breathtaking heights of the Peruvian Andes, a remarkable discovery has emerged from the shadows. A new genus of tarantula that captures the very essence of the rugged, untamed landscape. Introducing Anticuna cyanofemur, the so-called flagship species of the newly classified genus Anticuna. The name, derived from the Quechua language for Andes, pays tribute to its ancestral home a cradle of the biodiversity where nature's wonders continue to astound. Sharing its alpine domain with other genera such as Pistriopelma, Hapalotremus, Homeoma and Trixopelma, Anticuna distinguishes itself through a suit of unique characteristics. Unlike Pistriopelma, which sports two lateral patches of eradicating setae, 
Articuna concentrates its defense in a single dorsal patch. The males boast a palpable bulb with a distinctive tooth-like keel, a feature unseen in its peers. The females, meanwhile, reveal an elegant bipartite structure under sperm of decay, a dramatic evolution from the simple unipartite design found in Haplotremus. If we zoom in on the males and their leg pattern, prioritized as one, four, two, three, further sets them apart. They also lack the basal nodules on metatarsi 1 that characterize their relative homoeoma. Meanwhile, the females diverge from Phryxopelma with their uniquely structured seminal receptacles accentuated by ventral keels and oval apical lobes, a masterpiece of evolutionary intricacy. And if you have a short break, leave a comment down below. Tell us what you like most. Tell us what you don't like about these videos so we can improve upon and leave a like on the video itself. That would help us tremendously. Now, keep on watching. The species Anticuna tianofemur, for example, thrives in shallow burrows beneath rocks where temperatures hover around a brisk 10 degrees Celsius. Outside, snowfall blankets the landscape, but within these shelters, life persists undeterred. Researchers have uncovered thriving populations with numerous adult females and the wealth of juveniles in every development stage, right down to freshly hatched nymphs emerging from delicate egg sacs. Unlike their lowland cousins, highland tarantulas like Anticuna are uniquely adapted to their extreme environments, making them ill-suited for captivity. The sight of these creatures poached from the wild would be a tragedy, robbing nature of yet another treasure. That's why we've captured these tarantulas on video to share their story with the world while leaving them undisturbed in their native habitat. So we escaped the harsh snowstorm and now are within the clouds. Sadly, it drastically changed within a few minutes, so you don't see any background mountains now. Uh, but nevertheless, we found another bigger specimen, which you will see plenty of video material. And it's arguably, arguably, it's, it's arguably the most beautiful tarantula we found so far on our trip, right next to the other Bistriopelma, the one with the orange bronze coloration. So as with others, we found around, I would say, six bigger specimens and at least eight uh, smaller ones, spiderlings, first, second instar, uh, under all these rocks. So we'll return this one as with all the other ones and um, hike our way back to the car. Cheers! Through our lens, marvel at the incredible beauty of Anticuna, a creature of resilience, moss, mystery and the enduring spirit of the Andes. Let their story inspire us to preserve the delicate balance of the world, ensuring future generations can continue to admire these magnificent arachnids where they truly belong, in the wild in Peru.